हॅलो एव्हरी वन आणि नमस्कार धिस इज डॉक्टर सुदर्शन संभाजीराव पेडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ झुओलॉजी कलासोसी रसिका महाविद्यालय देवणे युअर झुओलॉजी कंपेनियन अँड वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर आय रिपीटेड एस्टरडेज पॉइंट्स सो yesterday here we discuss about classification of proteins in the classification of proteins we have seen yesterday that is uh, types of proteins in that types of protein there are three types is there this is the simple protein conjugated protein and derived protein but yesterday we discussed about only simple protein okay in the simple protein we have already discussed in the fibrous proteins as well as globular protein or in the fibrous protein and globular proteins forms study discussed after the completion of this simple protein today we will discuss here about next topic that is the conjugated protein okay first of all what is the conjugated protein okay conjugated protein it is the addition of some non protein group called conjugated proteins okay addition of sorry addition to alpha amino acids some non protein group called prosthetic group as well as conjugated proteins also okay the conjugated proteins are classified according to the nature of prosthetic group okay study we discuss here that is the uh conjugated protein is a totally according to the uh, sorry uh, classified according to the nature of prosthetic group okay nature so depend on only nature okay so today we will discuss here about that is the conjugated proteins classified according to the nature of prosthetic group into following types okay there are five types is here as the first one is the nucleoprotein second one is the chromoprotein second third one is the glycoproteins fourth one is the phosphoproteins and fifth one is the lipoprotein okay in the first protein that is the nucleoprotein in this type of conjugated protein the protein is combined with nucleic acid what is meant by the nucleoprotein this protein or this conjugated protein is combined with a nucleic acids okay they generally they occur mostly abundantly in the cell nuclei and are a generally combination of histones with the nucleic acid okay study we uh, we discussed in that lecture that is the histones okay histones and nucleoproteins is uh, already discussed in the last lecture okay similarly nucleoproteins uh, means that is the conjugated protein and the protein is combined with the nucleic acid right that is called nucleoproteins and generally these nucleoproteins found in the cell nuclei okay another next that is the chromoprotein in the chromoprotein they are the pigment proteins chroma means the chromo or chroma means the pigment okay chroma means color okay in the pigment protein okay they are the pigment proteins like hemoglobin hemocyanin 
cytochrome and riboflavin okay these are the pigments okay we know very well our uh, blood color is the red blood color why because it contains a particular pigment is there that's why our blood color is the red okay hemocyanin cytochrome riboflavin these are the pigments okay these are the pigment proteins okay the chromo proteins okay it, and these in which the prosthetic group is colored compound okay which the prosthetic group is a color compound with a metallic base okay with a, with a metallic base and hemoglobin the chromogen part is the him and the protein part is the globin is the histone yesterday we have discussed on histones okay okay this is the chromo proteins chromo proteins means the combined with the pigments okay they are pigment proteins okay another next is the glycoproteins okay glycoproteins the glycoproteins such as the mucin of saliva okay mucin of saliva ohomulcoid from the white of egg okay and the chondromulcoid from the cartilage okay it uh, yields sugar or sugar like substance as a prosthetic group okay glyco is the like in the last uh, chapter we discuss that is the carbohydrate and that is the glycogen glucose okay that is the oats means the sugar okay and here there is the total hydrolysis or total breakdown of this glycoprotein the yields is the sugar or sugar like substance as a prosthetic group it means the combined with the protein sugar like substance okay? that is called as the glycoprotein okay another that is the next one is the phosphoproteins okay in this proteins the protein molecule remains connected with phosphoric acid okay, okay. they have connected with the phosphoric acid which is taken to be a prosthetic group so for example casein of milk and ohohydrolin of egg okay ohohydrolin of egg is also uh, the example of phosphoprotein okay it contain the is uh, combined with the proteins combined with the phosphoric acid that's why we call it as that is the phosphoproteins okay another last one is the lipoproteins okay we know here lipo means the lipids okay as the lipid makes the prosthetic group these proteins yield fatty acids on hydrolysis okay it means the lipids are attached with the proteins and that is the that proteins is called as lipoprotein or that proteins is called as conjugated proteins why because the lipids is attached with the protein okay and it yields fatty acids after the hydrolysis So for example in the lipoprotein uh, lip lipovitamin of egg egg in the egg you know what is the lipovitamin protein okay that is the lipoprotein okay serum proteins and uh, phospholipids of brain also these are the lipoproteins okay generally lipoproteins found in the serums also okay, blood serum okay, serum proteins is also lipoproteins okay it means it contains lipid molecules okay and as well as phospholipids of brain it means the phospholipids present or lipoprotein present in the brains also okay that is the lipoprotein okay next uh, these are the conjugated protein okay five types of 
proteins the conjugated protein first one is the nuclear protein second one is the chromoprotein the third one is the black protein fourth one is the phosphoprotein and fifth one is the lipoprotein okay these are the conjugated proteins in the next that is the next and last type of uh, proteins that is the derived proteins okay what is mean by the derived protein derived protein proteins means they are derived from simple or conjugated proteins by the action of acids alkalis or enzymes okay as an intermediary product of protein hydrolysis okay what is mean by the derived proteins derived proteins from simple or conjugated protein by the action of acids alkalis or enzymes after that product of protein hydrolysis the intermediate product is called derived proteins okay the modified proteins obtained by heat coagulation okay another property that is a, it is a modified protein is obtained with the help of heat coagulation and the synthetic peptide are also taken as derived proteins okay they are named uh, such as that is the first one is the primary proteins and second one is the secondary proteins also as primary derived proteins as well as secondary derived proteins okay. i am not uh, right here that is the primary derived protein i right here that is the only primary protein but this uh, this is the one particular mistake here that is the heading in the primary derived protein the correct um, heading okay, the, here i am not uh, add this word that is the primary derived protein okay but uh, you see here that is this uh number 1 is the a is the primary derived proteins okay in that they are the derived derivatives of the proteins okay they are the derivatives of the protein in which the size and material constitution of the protein molecule is not altered means not change okay size and composition material is not change okay not altered means not change okay size and composition material okay primary derived proteins are of following type first one is the primary proteoses second one is the meta proteins third one is the coagulated proteins okay see one by one first that is the prot primary proteoses okay these primary proteoses are salted out by half saturation with ammonium sulfate and are precipitated by nitric and picric acids okay and they are insoluble in water and are not coagulated by heat okay these are the insoluble in water they are not coagulated by heat okay for example edestein and albumoses okay Yesterday we have discussed that lecture. Uh, it is thin, okay, in the in the simple protein also, okay. Uh, another next that is the meta proteins. Okay, meta proteins are insoluble in water. Okay, so similarly in the primary proteases, they are also insoluble in water, but soluble in dilute acids and alkalis. So meta protein. soluble in dilute acids and alkalis and they are produced by further action okay for example uh, acid and alkalis albuminates okay for example that is the acid and alkalis albuminates that is called as the meta proteins okay another next that is the coagulated proteins in the coagulated proteins are insoluble proteins products produced by the action of heat or alcohol okay 
coagulated proteins and the third uh, type of primary derived protein that is the coagulated proteins are insoluble proteins products produced by the action of heat or alcohol on the proteins such as the coagulated white of the egg okay coagulated white of the egg okay. another next that is the secondary derived protein okay b is the secondary derived protein in that and there are uh, uh, first of all what is the secondary derived proteins okay there are they are the proteins which have undergone hydrolysis and as such the products have smaller molecules than those of the original proteins okay and these are the original proteins okay. and they the secondary derived proteins are uh, of two types first uh, secondary proteases and uh, peptones okay the in the first uh, secondary proteases uh, they have a smaller molecular weight than the primary proteases okay uh, if you compare these secondary and primary proteases that time secondary proteases is a it is smaller molecular weight than the primary proteases okay and represent a more advanced stage in the hydrolytic cleavage process of natural proteins in uh, the, this is the secondary proteases okay and it is a one advanced stage in the hydrolytic cleavage process okay in the natural proteins also as compared to the primary proteases okay another next there is peptones peptones in the peptones are obtained by the action of dilute acids and or proteolytic enzymes okay uh, when hydrolysis is carried protease stage cannot be salted out by ammonium sulfate okay that is the uh, they have smaller molecular weight and uh, are water soluble but do not coagulate on heating okay. the, these peptones are not coagulate on heating and they are the small molecular weight as well as are water soluble okay no, peptones this is the derived proteins in that derived protein there are two types in that uh, two types there are in the first uh, type uh, primary derived protein there are three forms that is the primary proteins as meta proteins and coagulated proteins and in the last secondary derived proteins it contain two uh, forms that is the secondary proteases and peptones okay so tomorrow uh, sorry uh, today we, we have discussed here about uh, that is the second type the classification of protein in the types of second type that is the conjugated protein okay uh, in the conjugated protein there are five types we have discussed here First, uh, nuclear proteins. Nuclear proteins means the uh, com nucleic acid combined with protein. That proteins is called as nuclear proteins. Okay, and uh, chromo proteins means the pigments are combined with the proteins. That proteins is called as chromo proteins. And the heme is a chromogen, is a pigment, and that uh, combine in the globin that is the protein okay that is the chromoprotein okay another that is the glycoprotein in that sugars are the um, uh, combined with the proteins that is the glycoproteins also okay another that is the phosphoprotein in the phosphoprotein the phosphoric acid is uh, combined with the proteins that is called as phosphoproteins okay um, for example casein and ovitelin and another last one is the lipoprotein is the lipid is combined with the protein that is called as lipoproteins also and for example lipovitalin serum uh, proteins and phospholipids these are the lipoproteins okay in the uh, conjugated protein and last uh, is the derived protein in that derived proteins we have seen that is the primary protein.
proteins okay and secondary proteins okay so thank you thank you very much uh remaining parts we will say right around